All right, so let's check out the Bureau and see what we have to do to start the Broad Stripes and Bright Stars Bureau project. Let's uh, hold down to activate. And we're going to view the project. And OK, so this is uh, a <laughs> grade one premium skin. So after you get the skin, you have to apply 750 buckets of paint to max this skin out to grade four. So as I said in the patch notes video, if it was grade four, that would be something grade one, not so much. But you do get the cool skin and you have the option of upgrading it. So let's go ahead and see what we have to do to accelerate through this. So we have Ernest King and then next we're gonna select Willis Lee. And let's see what ships we have here. So I have the Farragut and the Omaha in here. You could also pick the South Carolina or the Independence, which I did not select. So the South Carolina, I would be able to select that. I believe it's on Friday on the 24th. And as you can see, this would be the better ship to use rather than the Omaha and Farragut, which I have right now because it is a five second boost here on this timeline. And holy cow, if you select the independence, that is a nine second boost. So you definitely want to select one of the campaign ships if you have obtained them that will really help you get through this bureau project, holy cow. So I'm gonna see whether I can go ahead and add that later to really help out with the boost. So, and this ship will probably be in all the stages to boost, all the segments and stages for boosting. So let me go ahead and select the Farragut and the Omaha. Okay, so you can see here that with all the commanders and ships selected, I can almost get through one stage here in this segment. So here I got the Omaha. Oh, this is interesting. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and select this with uh, the black right here. So here, win a battle in the black, and if you cause over 30,000 of HP damage to ships, that will also increase this. So this is kind of new. This is uh, pretty cool, but since I have the black, why not? And yeah, so the Omaha is 100K that it will boost, and that is generally a two hour boost in the timeline. And over here, the black, uh, these two guys right here, 300K and 600K, that I guess would boost um, six hours and maybe 12 hours here based on 100K boosting two hours through the timeline. So you really get a huge boost here by having the black for this uh, particular segment. And I assume the same would be true if you had the independence. If you do all these uh, three daily trials here, you will certainly be able to get through one of the stages every day. So within less than a week, you'll get through the first segment. So let's see how many segments we have. A lot of times these kind of missions are kind of short. Uh, these bureau projects are short. They probably like eight missions is what it looks like here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven only. So should be able to get through this with no problem during the the campaign. I would, I'm guessing, I'm expecting to be able to do that with only seven there. So let me see, next one is the Mahon, the Benson, Fletcher, Gehring, and okay, the Cleveland skin and the Baltimore skin are grade four, so they are maxed out. So that is a pretty valuable commodity there if you can make it through this. All right, and then generally for each of the stages here, you do get these uh, small rewards, like in this case, it'll be 1000 global XP and three rare, looks like ship boosters there, so okay. So that's the Bureau Project, and this is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it.